So Shaitan decided the same thing and what he did is he said you see these people who are with Adam alayhi salam and now that he's passed away Sheed alayhi salam he may recognize me because he knows Shaitan he decided that let me come in the form of a man and I will go to the to those who are with sheath and I will pretend as though I'm a defector from this side sorry I will go to those who are with Qabil those who are with Cain, I will go to that side and pretend like I've defected from sheath. Now there was a distinct, distinct sign. You could see very clearly the men from Kabil's side were not very good looking. We heard about that. And the women were very good looking. And they had gone one side. When it comes to where sheath alayhi salam and the rest of them were, the men were very good looking and the women were not that good looking according to narrations i'm not speaking obviously from my own pocket here so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept it such that shaitan went to that side in the form of a handsome man and when he went there he asked for a job look i need employment i need to be employed here so what happened they looked at him they decided yes good man come let's employ you at least we got one defector someone has defected let's give him a job so he got a job and as a man he worked amongst them and he worked very hard and then he slowly started what did he start doing it's important we listen to this he slowly started making sounds a sound that people had never heard before because there were there were no sounds that people had heard that was the beginning of time and now he took he created a little drum and he beat it and everybody would come what's that sound and they would come around him and watch then he got a bit of metal and he started hitting it and then it created a sound and they came and then he made a bugle and he started blowing into it and it created a sound and they came and they were excited wow these people are intelligent they are they have advanced much more than us and so they were so happy and they got so engrossed in it that they slowly started forgetting the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they slowly started forgetting the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yet on the other hand, Sheath alayhi salam kept on reminding his people. He kept on speaking with his people and he kept on telling his people what was right and what was wrong and so on. And on this hand, we find that shaitan is teaching them how to do evil, how to create evil. And after some time, they began to follow him. And when they began to follow him, it created a disaster for them. This is how they introduced the musical instruments into existence. This is how they introduced the musical instruments into existence. And through that, he would control them. They literally set aside a day, an evening, a Saturday evening. And amazingly, to this day, it lasts. To this day, it lasts. They set aside that evening where he would create these sounds. Everybody would come around and everybody would listen to him. And everybody would literally party party they would party until there came a time when some of the youth from sheath alayhi salatu was salam were visited by shaitan and what did he do to them something interesting he went to them and he created a doubt in their minds he made them ask a question he made them question the law of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why is it that we are not allowed to mix with these cousins of ours with these relatives of ours what is the law all about what is the reasoning what is so bad about them look at this question let's put it into our lives sometimes when we are taught not to have certain company not to have certain friends not to move in a certain direction what is it that is so bad about these people that we should not be mixing with them so when they started asking this question it was answered for them that look Kabil had engaged in a crime right at the beginning he, he engaged in a sin at the very beginning and this is what he did he engaged in murder and his characteristics were different and so on and for this reason they were all on one side and we are ordered not to mix with them these youth were dissatisfied with the answer nah doesn't sound too good to us we're not happy with it when they were not happy with it some of them decided let's just have a peep at what's happening because we, we've heard that here things are going on these people are progressing let's go and see so they came down from the mountains and they went and from a distance they were watching and they had seen and 
it pulled them. Imagine they, they did not intend to engage in evil. But when they saw everybody's partying, and what did they see? They saw very good looking females. They saw very good looking females. And so they went closer. And when they went closer, they were seen. Subhanallah. They were seen. And they were good looking men. So the women began to engage in what is known as tabarruj. Tabarruj meaning to start displaying their beauty and to start dressing up in order to attract. This was the first time Shaytan taught them this. Now if you take a look at the tafsir of the Quran, you will find in Surah Al-Ahzab there is a verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well as the believing women who take a lesson from that. Allah says, وَقَرْنَ فِي بُيُوتِكُنَّ وَلَا تَبَرَّجْنَ تَبَرُّجَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ الْأُولَىٰ Remain indoors as far as possible and do not adorn yourself in a wrong manner in a wrong manner meaning for those who are not meant to be seeing you in the way that the, those of the first ignorance engaged in so Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu who is a great mufassir he says this is referring to the women of Qabil's side who used to beautify themselves in order to be made attracted to these males and this is where the story comes up Al Jahiliyatul Ula mentioned in this tafsir mentioned by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu his view is that this is what it was and we are just using that today in order to put forward what happened so when that happened these young men they came in and they enjoyed themselves they had music they had women they had so much they were partying they were enjoying and they went away see it's typical what happens nowadays you have the weekend people go and after that they come back home at three in the morning you know we use the word babalas i don't know what is used by the by the people here which means they're half drunk you know they don't even know whether they are coming or going allahu akbar so as the men came back they told the other youngsters hey you don't know what you're missing out on you see there they've got different sounds and these sounds are amazing now look shaitan uses sound to control man wallahi if you take a look at what a beat is what is a beat you start tapping your fingers what happened who's controlling this finger of yours shaitan what happens to your your toe it starts flicking what happens to your head it starts moving what happens to your waist it starts shaking allahu akbar who's controlling it let's be honest it started at that time it started at that time and it is controlled the one who can make you tap your finger on your steering wheel can easily make you murder the one who can make you tap your finger on a steering wheel can easily lead you to adultery he will create it in your heart and beautify it he can do one thing and you continue he will do another may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us so thereafter these people came back with a bigger group and they came back with a larger group and the group was growing and every time that party happened there were people from this side who used to quietly go to that side and they used to engage in sin the first sins music was invented and what else was invented created was adultery may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us this is the history of it made mention by some of the historians and it is very very important very very interesting for us to note this because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also told us in the quran about al jahiliyatul ula although there are no details the details we get from some of the mufassirin and some of the historians so this is how it started and this is why it's important for us today to understand that not everything that glitters is gold not everything that glitters is good for us not everything that appears to be so attractive is actually good for us because if we go in that direction we could be falling straight into the trap of shaitan so much for listening to the short message i pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope 
and the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.